Hi there, this is City Scrapper. I'm here today with a Joanne haul. Last week, Joanne had some great clearance items. They had a whole bunch of stuff and all of their paper crafting clearance was an additional 30% off. So I went to town, I bought a lot of stuff. Luckily, because it was on such a good sale, it didn't cost that much, but I just wanted to show you my receipt. They have to ring up each individual item at Joanne. So this, all this came to only $19.61, but I always feel bad when I get online with a big stack of paper. I feel bad for the cashier and for the people behind me, but I got a lot of really great buys and I'm really excited to show you what I got. This first item is not a scrapbooking item, of course. This is from the floral section. This was $9.99 and then it was 75% off. And I thought this would be great to use on mixed media pages. These are very flat and they're delicate. And even though they're plastic, I still think that they would look pretty on a page. If I don't like the plastic look, I feel like maybe I could put some gesso on them to just kind of take that shine away. But there's enough here to last a lifetime and I was really excited to find that. The next things that I got were embellishments and stickers. These were 97 cents and with the discount they came to 58 cents and they're wood veneers. They're two different Halloween sets of wood veneers and they're from that company they have at Joanne Miss Sparkle and Company. Got those. I also picked up this ephemera pack. This is, it says 65 washi flakes. And this very much looks like the 1960s Adam West Batman that they had on TV when I was a kid. So I thought this would be cute. Sometimes I make pages about movies that we go to and I feel like this would go along with a lot of the movies. So I picked that up. The next thing that I got, I got three of these. My husband loves those Marvel movies that have been out for the last few years and we go to a lot of those so I picked these up and these I believe were uh, also $1.18 on sale. This is a pack of Summer Ephemera. It was $0.97 cents and $0.58 cents on sale and I thought this would be make a cute page also from the Miss Sparkle and Company collections that they have. I got three of these. These are stickers. They're, they're stickers really with a Manhattan kind of theme in them. And I thought I'd get a lot of use out of these. So they were on sale for $1.18. And there's a lot of stickers in here that I think I would get a lot of use out of. So I figured to have them on hand, I would just pick up what they have, what they had. And there's one of them that's missing a page, but I still thought it was worth it for $1.18 to pick up the ones that they had. The next thing I got were these Jolie's stickers, Jolie's boutique stickers with a summer theme. And I always love to make pages about the beach. So I picked those up. Those were $1.18 each. This was, I think this was $0.97 cents and then it was on sale for $0.58. Cents. I'm looking for whatever I can find for graduation pages because I'm making albums for both my daughters. So I got that. Here's another summer themed item. These are Kay and Company border stickers and they, I have the Citronella collection. These are the Citronella, co Citronella collection. I have the papers and I think I also have this, but I used up all of my favorite ones. So I thought for $1.18, I'd pick up another one. I love those old Kay and Company collections and I try to add to them whenever I can. I'm also running low on my dog embellishments. I've been making a lot of pages about my two dogs lately. And so I was happy to see these. These were on sale for 97, I think those were 97 cents. My kids go to a lot of parties where they have photo booths. This looks like it's really for a wedding photo booth, but I thought I could make it work. And so I picked that up for $1.18. These are patches, they're not stickers, but I thought these would be cute too. Those are also on sale for $1.18. This was on sale for $1.18, this holographic theme that's 
um, entertainment themed food and music. Pick that up. That's that Park Lane line. And then here we have some thickers. And I thought these were great summer titles. So I picked this up. This was a little bit more. This was $3 and change. And then probably my favorite thing was these. I, I saw these before. I didn't see them though until they were on clearance and I really love them. I, I think these jewels that are two toned, you can see this, like this fuchsia, there's like a, a darker color in there and the green has like a light green and a darker green. I, this might be two toned too. There's a little bit of purplish mixed in with this pink, but these are just flat faceted red jewels. But I love them so much, and I bought whatever they had when I first saw them. But they were already on clearance, so they were pretty cleaned out. And I was really happy to find more of them. So whatever they had there, I picked it up. And those, I think, were $0.58. Cents. I think that's a great buy. The next thing that I want to show you is the paper that I bought. Most of the paper that I bought, as I mentioned, it was $0.10 cents a sheet. And so I went a little crazy. So I'll show you what I got. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these papers before, but I just wanted you to see what they had available. This is from the Flourish collection. They didn't have too much left from the Flourish collection when I got there. Beautiful flat floral prints. I love these. These papers are from the Confetti Wishes collection. These are those thin papers that Joanne has. They were also 10 cents, but uh, I really like this collection, so I picked these two papers up. These are the only two that are thin. The rest of the papers that I got were all regular cardstock weight. The first collection that I picked up on clearance, again for 10 cents a sheet, was this Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection. And I already have some of this, but I felt for 10 cents I would pick up some more. Because the paper was so inexpensive, and I really don't know a time that I would ever see paper that was less than 10 cents a sheet, unless it was in some kind of a clearance pad or something, but this kind of designerish cardstock. I didn't just look at the A sides, I also took a look at the B sides because a lot of times the B sides are things that you could use on pages that don't necessarily go with the collection. So I really took a hard look at the other side to see if there were any papers that I thought I could use the B side. For example, this one, I feel like this black and white stripe, I can use this on tons of pages. And I don't really have anything exactly like this or, or similar to it. So I just picked up whatever they had. And for 10 cents, you know, even if you get seven or eight sheets, it's only 70 or 80 cents. I also really liked this page for the same reason. The A side is beautiful too. But the B side is this beautiful blue color that I love to use. And I don't feel like I see it as often as I would think in scrapbooking paper. I really love it. And I thought it would make a great background. So I picked up whatever they had. I picked it up. And when you think about it, you you know, you know, it's, it's such a great buy. I definitely thought it was worth it. The next collection that I got was She's Magic. Again, I have some of this collection. And my only complain I shouldn't complain because they were the papers were so cheap but all of the papers had a big red price sticker on them and I guess if I had been a little more reasonable and just bought a few papers it wouldn't have taken that long to get the sticky uh, price ticket off but I bought so many sheets that it took me a very long time to get all of the stickers off. So I guess I just wish that they would put the stickers up here where the branding strip is. But because these papers were such a great buy, I shouldn't really complain. The only other problem is that I picked up all the stickers and now some of the pages stick together. So please forgive me if some of the pages are sticking. So this is a super pretty collection. There's the cut apart sheets. And here, this is another one where I thought that this side would be great and I could use it for a lot of different pages, not just for pages made with that collection. I also picked up this beautiful Horizon collection, this Paige Evans Horizon collection, and I'm sure you've seen this before, but I'll just show you what I was able to pick up, these cut apart sheets. I love the yellow B side of that. I picked up a lot of these. 
thought that pink was a beautiful B-side. Some they had tons of, and some they just had a couple. Like, I only saw two pieces of this. I love that pink paper on the back. And I feel like I always gravitate toward these really pretty papers, the A-sides, but then when I go to make my pages, a lot of times the bulk of the pages is made with the B-sides. So I feel like it's a great idea to, to stock up when you see pages this cheap. Oh, I already showed you that one. Um, this is the page that I feel like is just, it's such genius. There's so many ways you could use a page like this. You could either use it as a whole, you could cut it apart. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I picked up whatever I saw of that one. I'm sure you've seen that one before. And then here's the butterflies. Another collection that they had there was the Willow collection. And I don't have any of this collection, so whatever I picked up was that's what I have and they had actually a few more pieces of paper from this collection but I didn't really love them and I didn't think I would use them so I just picked up the pages that I thought that I would use Cut apart. Again, you'll see some of them sticking together. I'm sorry about that. That's a beautiful green on the back. That's great for mounting things. This is a great page. I love that beautiful pink. See, there's some of the sticker that I didn't get all the way off. You know, for this much money, a couple of the pages got a little damaged when I took off the price sticker, but it was fine because, like I said, such a great buy. This is from a collection called Damask Love. They had a lot more of this, but I just picked up the pages that I liked. Something about this intrigued me, this paper. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I picked up one sheet of it. I also really liked this page. This is the B side, but um, on the A side is this kind of zigzag. And I thought this might even look nice with the, the Horizon collection. That, that interested me, so I picked up those. And then this is a nice B-side. The A-side is also great. It's these lemons and limes. So all of that paper was 10 cents each. I have a few more things that I picked up. I picked up these. These are also from the Willow Collection. And it's a vellum butterfly with gold foiling. And I thought this would be beautiful cut out. So I picked these up. These were 97 cents. And then they were 30% off. I also picked up this. This is the kind of sheet that I'll buy it. And then I'm not always sure what to do with it. But I didn't want to totally pass it up. So I bought one of them. And I thought, it's not so bad if I just buy one. This was also $0.97 cents and the 30% off. And then I'm not sure how much this one was. It wasn't $0.10. Cents, I know that. It's uh, a shimmer with a little velvet dot. And I thought that that was pretty, so I picked that up as well. The only other sheets that I got were these black ones. I hope you could see this. This is a, it looks like a basket weave kind of texture or checkered. And it's a shiny black, and I thought I would use these on a lot of backgrounds. Often I'm looking for some kind of a shiny black paper. So I picked up a bunch of them. They had more. I didn't buy every one, but I did pick up a bunch. These were $0.97 cents and then 30% off. I also picked up two pads. The pads are also 30% off. So this was $4.97 and 30% off, which comes to about $3.50. This is called No Prob Llamas. And this is just a one-sided pad. And I thought it was pretty. It's a different color scheme than I often use, but I just liked it. And I like llamas. And I have alpaca pictures to scrapbook, so I thought it would be cute. And look at that. That's super cute. I don't know if you ever spent any time with alpacas. They're super, super sweet animals. 
and that's that pad. And the final thing that I got was this Park Lane Mid-Century Modern. This was $7.47 and then another 30% off. And I'm sorry, when I took those tabs, those sticky tabs off the side, the cover came off. So I will show it to you like this because it's double-sided. So this is super nice. This is a vellum newspaper print or at least it's text. I thought that this would be cute for something. And there's two of some sheets. This is so pretty. This is a foiled copperish color. There's only one sheet of that. That's a vellum sheet. This has a little 3D glasses on the back. Here's another vellum. This looks like a more of a rose gold floral. Sorry about the glare. And I really like these Park Lane pads. Sometimes when I'm scrapbooking with them, I'm not, they don't always work for me as a collection, um, but I do like the individual papers. I really like this too. Look how beautiful that is, especially when you put it on the yellow side, the yellow, against the yellow paper. That's so beautiful. There's one of those. There's also this. This is very textured. You can't really see, I don't think, but it's very textured when you touch it. And on the back, it's white, or you could see the texture a little bit better. I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's visible in person. Here's another beautiful page. This is a another acetate sheet. And then there's those sheets. And then in the back, they have some solid cardstock to go with the different pages. So you get a lot for your money on this. So that was my Joanne Hall. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that if you liked my video, you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my videos, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks again for joining me. I'll be back again soon. And I hope you have a super great day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.